Hey food enthusiasts! Welcome to the Culinary Timeline channel, where we set out together on a journey through culinary traditions, discovering timeless recipes and unraveling the science and history behind the flavors. Today, we're rediscovering these culinary gems, the dishes and recipes that vanished, not because they weren't delicious, but because the ingredients became elusive in our modern world and the era of fast food consumption let them just fade away. From ancient civilizations to the early days of America, get ready to embark on a culinary adventure like no other. Just picture this, guys. A time when simple, wholesome ingredients came together to create masterpieces on the plate. In our modern era of fast food and convenience, it's easy to forget the rich culinary tapestry that forms the backbone of our gastronomic history. Let's step back into the colonial era, a time when America was still finding its culinary identity, when immigrants from all over the world brought their culinary traditions with them. Some of these recipes have stood the test of time, while others have been forgotten. One such dish is the syllabub, a popular dessert in colonial America, although it does have its roots as a British dessert. It consisted of cream, sugar, and alcohol. It's a shame that this delightful treat is rarely seen on modern menus. No doubt, be it in America or Britain, syllabub was one of the mainstays as an early dessert on tables. Sounds mysterious, doesn't it? Well, let me break it down. It was a frothy concoction made with sweetened milk or cream, usually with wine or cider, sometimes spiked with a touch of rum. Picture colonial homemakers expertly churning this creamy delight to perfection. Unfortunately, as the years rolled on, the syllabub vanished from our tables, becoming a mere whisper in the pages of history. Another forgotten gem is the ragu of pig's feet, a hearty dish made from slow-cooked pig's feet on a stove or fire with vegetables and spices. It might sound unusual to us now, but it was a staple in early American cuisine. Now hang on, let your minds drift to the ancient world, where civilizations developed unique culinary traditions. Many of the ancient recipes have been lost to time, but as we're here to bring them back to life, let's discuss the ancient Egyptians, who believed that good food was essential for the afterlife. They prepared lavish feasts, complete with dishes like melon soup, honey roasted duck, and stuffed pigeons. It seems interesting, but if we move on to the Roman Empire, they were known too for their extravagant banquets and elaborate dishes. One particular recipe that has been lost was the garum sauce, also served in American times a fermented fish sauce that was a staple in Roman cuisine. It's fascinating to see how our taste buds have evolved over time, as some of these ancient recipes might not be as appealing to us today. Pig's feet, looking at you. Coming back to some of those old forgotten American recipes, I stumbled upon this forgotten recipe in an old cookbook from the 18th century. It's incredible how these recipes not only fed and nourished the body, but also shaped the culture of the time. Let's not forget the lost art of jumbles, delightful and spiced cookies that were a favorite during the early American days. With ingredients like caraway seeds and anise, they were a sweet escape from the harsh realities of the time. Fast forward to the 20th century, a time marked by war and rationing. Desperation gave rise to innovation in the kitchen, birthing recipes like the mock apple pie. With apples in short supply, resourceful home cooks turned to an unexpected substitute by the name of crackers. Yes, you heard it right. Ritz crackers were the unsung heroes of wartime kitchens, standing in for the beloved apple in a desperate attempt to recreate the classic pie. It's fascinating to see how necessity breeds creativity, and these wartime recipes reflect the resilience and ingenuity of the American people during challenging times. Now, let's shine a light on the disappearing cuisine of Native Americans, a rich tapestry of flavors and techniques often overlooked in the modern culinary landscape. One dish that stands out is the fresh-made deep oven baked fry bread, a simple combination of flour, water, and salt. Fry bread was a staple for many Native American communities. Today, it's a symbol of survival and a testament to the enduring spirit of a people whose culinary traditions are often sidelined. Mushroom ketchup is another one of the most incredible and flavorful recipes from the 18th century of North America. It's actually still commonly used in Britain today. Whenever we hear the word ketchup, tomato ketchup, the red one comes to our mind. But believe me guys, mushroom ketchup was the common ketchup in the 18th century. The process of making this strange and dark ketchup began with gathering hand-picked fresh mushrooms in the morning, washing and wiping them clean with a woolen cloth, mashing them with your hands, and seasoning with a little salt. 
After that, they would be left for up to a whole night before being brought to the boil for 10 to 15 minutes, being constantly stirred, and then squeezed through a canvas and left to settle. In the end, the mushroom paste would be seasoned with black pepper, cloves, mace, ginger, and then bottled. Mushroom powder was sometimes used as well. And there you have it, the perfect recipe for mushroom ketchup, which no doubt is one of the best and perhaps most misunderstood sauces, with its complex mixture of these unique ingredients. Elsewhere, we have the famous Texas fresh pork or beef meat, cooked in a clay pot or on stoves with a mouth-watering aroma. It was one of the most demanded recipes ever and is still being used in some remote areas in the US state of Texas, as well as some other territories. Flavoured and seasoned with some fresh pepper, salt and vinegar and some rich sauces, this meat recipe was an old cooking technique of tribal natives in the Texas region. However, with time, this precise recipe became seldom remembered, and instead of high natural flames being used to cook this delicious meat, alternative methods are used today, which completely change the aroma, texture and look of the meat being cooked. When it comes to old gems like these, we can carry on. And just like these old favorites and forgotten recipes of ancient American times, we can surely indulge in other recipes from all the other continents around the world. But the basic purpose of these findings is to help revive the culinary world. There's no doubt that there are those out there who miss some of these old traditions in the kitchen. But the future of these recipes will be in good hands, as I'm sure there will be those of you who will want to try new versions of them out for yourselves. As we rediscover these forgotten recipes, it's important to acknowledge the diverse culinary heritage that makes up the American story. These dishes are not just recipes, they are chapters in the epic tale of our collective gastronomic history. Now, let's explore the reasons why some dishes and recipes no longer exist today. One major factor is the availability of ingredients. Over time, certain ingredients have become scarce or have gone out of fashion, leading to the disappearance of some beloved recipes. And other reasons they disappear is the wave of the times, the era of modernization, which has given way to the trend of having fast food and quick, easy diet recipes, which has unfortunately left some unaware of these golden times recipes, which have faded away with history. But don't you worry, despite the challenges of disappearing ingredients and lost recipes, there is still hope. Food historians, chefs and culinary enthusiasts are working tirelessly to rediscover and revive forgotten recipes. They delve into old cookbooks, journals and historical records in search of hidden culinary treasures like the ones I've told you about today. By resurrecting these forgotten recipes, we not only honour our culinary heritage, but also gain a deeper understanding of the past. It's a way to connect with our ancestors and appreciate the flavours and techniques that shaped our modern cuisine. So there you have it, a glimpse into the past, a journey through time in our culinary time machine. The recipes we've explored today may have faded away, but their stories linger on. Now, I challenge you, our viewers, to explore your own family's culinary history. Who knows what forgotten recipes are waiting to be rediscovered in your grandmother's old cookbook? Explore your own family recipe archives, try recreating ancient dishes, and share the stories behind these forgotten recipes with your friends, family, and loved ones, because food is meant for sharing. By embracing our culinary past, we can ensure that these forgotten recipes are passed down to future generations, keeping our food history alive. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to hit that like button, share your thoughts and recipes in the comments below, and subscribe for more culinary adventures. And as always, keep the spirit of these forgotten recipes alive by trying them out in your very own kitchen. Until next time, happy cooking, and stay tuned for more fascinating content on the way.